Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have not been on really any social media uh, lately and honestly it's been a great break but Joshua and I have really just kind of stepped away from everything for a while, the first few months of you know our marriage and everything and it was really good. Um, but I've been missing being creative and this week is finals week and I'm pretty much done. Um, without my finals, so I thought why not eight basic so I thought why not film a YouTube video and just kind of update you guys on where we're at and what's going on and I also just wanted to share a few of the things that I've been loving since I haven't really done that in a really long time. So first things first, there's a huge big thing other than getting married and moving and being on our own. Um, we got a puppy. This is Paisley Ray, and she is the sweetest little girl in the entire world. I love her with all of my heart and soul, and just, I love her so much. Um, she can be a little bit naughty at times. I mean, that's just, she's in the puppy stages. She is really good at chewing things and going to the bathroom. That's like her specialty right now. Alrighty, so the first category of my favorites um, is fashion related. And basically I have been obsessed with anything like polar bear related the past few months. I don't know, I just find polar bears super adorable. Um, so my mom and my grandma, um, when my grandma was in town, they went to Old Navy and they got me these really, really cute polar bear fuzzy socks and I love fuzzy socks literally every time I go to Target I have to get like those dollar fuzzy socks just because it's like why not they're a dollar moving on I have a few jackets that I wanted to share with you guys um my mom ended up surprising me by getting me this really adorable sweater from Luca and Gray and it's just this mustard yellow cardigan and the material is just I don't even know how to explain it. It's like knit, but it's really warm and it's really soft and I love it so much. So after Black Friday, with all the good deals, Josh and I went shopping and at Forever 21, I found this adorable, really soft um, hoodie and it's like this pale pink color and I absolutely have been loving this color. So anything that I find in this color, I just want to get it. Also, this reminds me of a polar bear. Like when I wear it, I just feel like so warm and fuzzy. So I know that's weird, but. I had to pick it up because of that. So the last thing fashion related are these velvet scrunchies. I picked this set up of five at um, Francesca's the other day and they have some hair on it just because Paisley was chewing on them. But um, my sister came over when my family came over to meet Paisley the other day and she had this pink one in her hair and it looked so, I don't even know, it just looks so Tumblr and so cute and so adorable. And I was like, where did you get that? I need one of my own. And she told me she got it at Francesca's. So right after they left, Josh and I went and I picked them up because I just thought that they were so adorable. So moving on, I have a few beauty products that I wanted to share with you. Um, first, things first, this has been my favorite go-to deodorant the past few months. This is the Secret Spray On Live Fresh Grapefruit or I guess it's a glam grapefruit. This has been super easy and quick and it doesn't leave the residue that the, you know, sticks leave on your clothes if you like end up putting it under your shirt or something. So this has been great. <laughs> All right, so next thing that I want to share with you guys is this really amazing moisturizer. So I have been using the Demi Lovato, you know, Devon by Demi. Um, face products for the longest time and they are actually in the process of updating their formula so they haven't came out with the products in a while and i have really been missing it because their moisturizer is my absolute favorite moisturizer in the entire world so i found a dupe for that moisturizer at the like um, drugstore and this is the Avino Active Naturals Positively Radiant Intensive Night Cream. Um, I just really like this. It's made my skin feel super smooth. Um, and that's just something that I really like, especially during the winter time when it's just really dry. My lips get really dry, my face gets really dry, and I just get like flaky. So this has been really helpful with that. And I haven't been 
as dry as I normally am. Also, something that has to do with a little bit of moisturizer is this NYX All Over Balm. This is a lifesaver when you want like that perfect glow but you don't want to put highlighter on. I just put like a little bit on my cheekbones and on my nose and it just creates like this amazing fresh looking glow. I didn't use it today, I used highlighter. But um, yeah, this is perfect if you want like a moisturizer. It's just literally just coconut oil with some other oils. Last thing for beauty products is the Babe Lash Eyelash Serum. Serum? Serum. I have been using this stuff for the past few months because um, I had eyelash extensions for Josh and I's wedding. And basically they totally ruined my eyelashes. I will rephrase that. They did not ruin my eyelashes. I ruined my eyelashes because I, had, I was so impatient. I did not want to go in and have them re removed. So I just took tweezers and I plucked each eyelash out. And with that eyelash came my real eyelash. So basically I didn't have eyelashes for like a month. I have been so impressed. I have used this not even every single night. It's like once a week and it's made them fuller, it's made them grow, it's just been a miracle worker. Moving on to food, I have been absolutely obsessed with two food sweets the past few months. Um, the first is Jammy Dodgers, and if you guys don't know what Jammy Dodgers are, I'll insert a photo. Basically, they're just like European slash British cookies, if, if that makes sense. The next thing I've absolutely been loving are these French macaroons from Trader Joe's. Um, these are just the chocolate and vanilla kind. And the other night when my family came over to meet Paisley, my stepdad brought these and they are my new favorite things because they are supposed to be kept frozen and you're supposed to like thaw them out so that you can eat them. But I like them frozen because they taste more chewy and just soft. Um, and typically, you know, macarons are like flaky and sometimes I don't like them that way because they taste a little stale. So these are really good and it just has fixed all my macaron problems because they're soft and chewy. <laughs> Moving on to the random kind of like miscellaneous side of this video. I have been reading a lot and I've had to read a lot for school because I am actually in a ton of English classes because I'm going to be an English major, I decided. Um, but basically I read a lot in school and I also spent a lot of time reading like in my free time. So I ended up reading the new um, John Green book, Turtles All the Way Down, and that was one of my favorite books. If you guys have the time um, to read that book, I really recommend it because, I don't know, there was something so moving about it, but the story wasn't like, I mean it sort of was a crazy story, but it wasn't as crazy as his previous stories, I feel like. Like it wasn't as emotional as his previous stories to me. Um, Paisley! But yeah, Turtles All the Way Down, I, there's just something so moving and so like inspiring at the end of that book. So if you guys have the time to read it, I actually like let my mom borrow it, so I don't have it with me right now. But the other book that I finished was Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Ro 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 Roel, if I said that right. Um, and I really like this book because it's not your typical love story and that's all I'm gonna say about it. If you guys have ever read it, you know what I mean. And in one of my, actually in one of my videos a long time ago, like books I've been loving, I mentioned this book and I haven't, I didn't even read it yet, but I heard so many good things about it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this in my books I've been loving because I'm going to read it. So I loved it. So my favorite TV shows the past few months, Josh and I have really been into The Office and I never really got into The Office, like my parents watched it, you know, when I was younger, but I never really got into it until now and I love it so much. And lastly, the TV show that I have been loving besides The Office has been called The Midwife. Um, I have heard Zoella talk about this a lot. I've heard a lot of, you know, British YouTubers talk about this a lot and I didn't really know what it was until I saw it the other day on Netflix and I was like, oh my gosh, I've heard good things about this. I have to watch it. My collar was like that the whole time. I'm so sorry. Um, oh. She likes to jump really high on the tree and her tree looks so lopsided because we had to put all of the ornaments on the very, very top 
but she still found a few on the bottom. She's so cute, I don't wanna tell her no. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time at Marshall's lately and Paisley's chewing on my hair, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Um, this is the Sensational Apple Cinnamon Candle and I've been lighting this a ton. You can't really tell because like it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't burn really fast and that's what I love about it. But this has been the smell in our house for the past month or so. This is like a mixture of fall into Christmas time and that's what I love about it because all of the Christmas scents at Marshall's I didn't really like because they were super piney and I'm not a huge pine person. Like I like the smell of a real Christmas tree but fake Christmas tree smells like just wannabe Christmas tree smells. I, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of that. So this apple cinnamon has been perfect Christmassy for our home. So the YouTube channel that I have been obsessed with the past few months, thank you to my sister Madison has been Rosanna Pansino. Like I was saying, Rosanna Pansino has been one of my favorites. Um, I just love her baking videos and her like nerdy nummy videos, but I also just really like her challenges. And I don't know, I just find her videos super kid friendly and something about the internet that really bothered me was I was just seeing a lot of just inappropriate stuff and I did not like that. Like, yeah, I'm an adult, but I don't wanna see that. Like, I just, I want my mind to be filled with you know, good and, I don't know, pure things, and I don't want my mind to be full of just a bunch of crap. So, Rosanna Pinzino has been one of my favorite YouTubers just because it's been really helpful. Um, I actually baked Joshua's birthday cake, um, and she was like the person who inspired me to decorate it and to like actually make a two layer cake instead of just, you know, go buy one at Safeway. Alrighty guys, so I think that's all I have for you today. I am happy to be back sharing some of my favorite things with you, sharing my sweet little paisley with you. And yeah, I, I wouldn't say like expect new videos from me a lot just because, I don't know, that's, that's not really my thing anymore, but I do like to film and I do miss being creative with filming and with you know taking photos and all that sort of stuff and writing but this semester has been really crazy so I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break and just kind of relax once the holidays are over but I just wanted to you know film this video really quick for you guys and just sort of upload it while I can and yeah I wanted you guys to meet Paisley so bad she's such a little kitty she's so she can be such a handful but She's worth it. She's worth it. She's worth it. I love her so much. I've been, oh my gosh, guys. I have been grinding, not grinding. I have been clenching my teeth so much because every time I call her or any time I like hold her, I like clench my teeth and I have had so many stinking egg headaches because I have been clenching my teeth so much. I just, I constantly have like a headache because I'm always like, she's so cute. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you sometime soon. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> oh, bye guys.